Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. We got a package and it is huge. I mean gigantous. What have I done? Oh my goodness. I mean I like big but you know. Hey. Let's take a look and see what we've gotten ourselves into this time. Yep, it's all one thing. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to cut it. Let me pull it out of here. Oh, goodness gracious. It is ginormous. Are you ready? Look at that. The Ambilight. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I think I remember... I think it was Lovecraft Forever had this, but I believed, I, I was trying to think that she did it in a diamond painting, but I wasn't sure. But this is just unbelievable. It says here it is 131 centimeters by 66 centimeters. So it is huge, and it is 11 count. It says three strands, and it is by May Deer, but it's made pretty much like the, uh, what do you call it, Joy Sundays. Comes in a nice kick, yeah, kit. It even hangs up if you, you feel like you need to hang up a little. I'm going to bring it up just so you can see. As you can see, there is one of those um, instruction booklets on how to stitch, how to read the pattern, how to match up the symbols. The look at the threads and then I'm sure if you turn it over it tells you what to do after you've finished it yeah all different kinds of stuff and how to to stitch is it the same on each side no it shows you how to divide the the floss and how to iron it afterwards yeah we could only hope that it's that big it, no no, Laura, Laura went back and looked. Yeah, it's like 50-some inches across. And I don't remember what it was, 26 inches high. So let's get to the, the yummies first. Oh, my gosh. Has a few threads. Let's see. There's 20, 106. It has 114 colors. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these full of threads. So since we have the white on the background, we'll just show you the threads. So start over here. And then we have reds and oranges. Holy cow. I had no idea that this was this big. I thought, oh, it'll be, you know, like 75 centimeters maybe. You know, like uh, the uh, autumn one. No. There's the next batch. Aren't they beautiful? Nice, soft threads. I haven't run into the thing that has the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's down here. The The needles in it. Look at all those threads. Burgundies. Kind of a mauve, maybe. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely stunning are the colors in this. But that's what got me in the first place. I mean, I had to have it, but I didn't know it was this big. Holy cow. Yeah, one of my viewers turned me in on to this one. And I've kind of seen it before, maybe in a diamond painting, and it was in a partial, you know, and it even had some special diamonds in it, but I have yet to see it this big. And the best thing about this is it was only $30. Now, for something this big with this much thread, that is truly a value. And lots of blues. What are you doing, Molly? Oh, she went in there to get her food. Yeah. Yeah. We had to run to town, and right before we went to town, it rained like a banshee. Okay, 
and here's some more comes with two needles these are the extras of these colors so they're attached there but look at the colors just vivid and bright if you can't find something in this I don't know what to tell you just absolutely stunning stunning colors but I've never done one with this many threads. I'm trying to shake them down so they'll lay flat. There's some bright oranges and yellows, more greens. There is probably every color. No, there, that'd be 475. But I was going to say every color of BMC, but pretty close. Pretty close. And some more greens and oranges. All different. So this is very, very detailed. And here's the last one. Let me shake it down a little. Look at those colors. Mm. You just want to lay down and take a nap with them. I know people say that about silk. Oh, I say that about DMC. I just absolutely love it. Just love it. It's all cotton. Oh, yeah. Cause if this had been silk and I had really screwed up, I'd throw it in the trash. Okay. So it comes with... Let's pull this part out. Here is the beautiful, gorgeous out. Look at that house. It has a little river. And it has a little pond. And look at those gorgeous, gorgeous trees. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And it comes with... You know it's big when uh, it comes with 21 pages worth of, of color and everything else oh my goodness and there's a listing of all the colors just absolutely stunning but yeah I got done doing the first video and I had it all uploaded and then it poured I mean it poured like a banshee and uh, yeah and then we waited, and so now it's about 2.30. So, let's see if we can get this apart. Okay, so this part is, we're going to go from edge to edge. This edge, so there you go. It's 25 and a half across. I won't be able to do the other, but trust me, it was like, twice that much let's see here so it's not too big and all the edges are surged and let me come down here first your key runs all the way across the bottom can you see that it's so big but it runs all the way down to here Come on. Down to here, and then it starts back up. That's 58 down. And then, I could just fold it. You got number 58. So I guess it goes to number 57. Yeah. <coughs> and then 58 to 114 down the side. And it is plain cross stitch I'm not yeah it's just straight cross stitch but it is scrumptious just absolutely huge and I don't think I can show you the whole thing okay first something has to happen here Let, let's just okay I had to move my coffee because I was paranoid delusional here and it is a partial as to the fact that up here in this corner, you only stitch so far. Let me show you the, the thing. Right up in here, it starts getting real thin. You have those colors there. And then you have another little white patch over here. And maybe underneath these trees down here. So right there, across there, and a little bit across here and here, is a partial. 
So it's not a full, full coverage. It might as well be. I don't know why they didn't, why they stopped. God, I'm telling you. Too much stuff. But nice, clear, beautiful symbols. Hopefully I can back it up just a bit. This is insane. And it's so clear. And the symbols, I swear, are at least half an inch high down here. And a little over a quarter of an inch over here on this side. So they're very easy to read. But it is ginormous. Okay. We're going to do something. Be right back. All right, so I laid it down so that you can see how big it is. Just huge. And if you'll hold just one second, I will measure it and let you know how long it is. Okay, it is 52 inches across, so that's about four and a half feet across, so it's not too big. Now, that is the entire canvas, so if you cut maybe three inches off of each side, so it's a little under four feet. Yeah. So. All right. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Yeah, I got that all folded up. So, yeah, it's about four feet long. So, yeah. When to start that? Well, I mean, there's just no like, time like the present, huh? And I think we might start over here in this corner so we can do some of the flowers this time. Yeah. So... I guess I will be back in a little bit, and we will begin to start this. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And we're starting right here. I'm trying to get it to lay flat. In this little section right here, with the green and the all the pretty flowers and the grass. And we'll see how it goes. 114 colors. Oh, my word. Okay. Yay. Sorry. I kept running into it with my head. And I'm using... I just had it. 986. It's... Sorry, I had to have a little good and plenty. Do you like good and plenties? It's my favorite candy. Just sitting around the house candy. Love it. They sell it in the movie box size at the grocery store. So yeah, I pick up some of those. And they're fat free, right? Mm, yeah, except for that sugar part. Now this canvas is a little bit stiff. I didn't crinkle it all, I just crinkled the corner a little bit. So it's made pretty much like that autumn one. It has a nice heavy canvas. Looking for my thimble, might need it. But it is surged all the way around the edge so that that canvas edge doesn't cut you, which is lovely. I appreciate that. Now this would probably fit in my 
my scroll frame if I wanted it to. Because I think it's a 40, 48 inch scroll frame. But yeah, we were just sitting here watching Floss Tube and YouTube and I got three or four guys that do things that I watch. One of them likes to go and look at abandoned houses and and some of them like to play Randonautica and which you couldn't pay me enough. Them boys are brave. Not me. I don't want to traipsy around in the dark. Not not me, but it's fun watching them. And it's fun watching them when they get scared, you know. Because they, they turn into little boys. It's hysterical. Okay, i got to lay that down. I can't. There's a gray blue one. There's a lot of confetti right there is what I'll say. So I couldn't really tell. And it does have some big spots, you know, that you can uh, do, you know. But for the most part, right here where all these trees are, it's going to take a hot moment. But the thread seems nice. I'm using three strands on 11 count. We'll see how it goes. If it starts getting um, too bulky, I might take it out and do two. But since it has a white canvas background, I try to do three so that it covers it. Yeah, it just poured like nobody's business. Oh, it thundered once. You know, our big thunderstorm. So. It's getting a little crazy crackers there. Sorry about that. And I put, like, I rolled it up and put um, paper clips two on each side so it won't go very far and it's gonna have to have its own bag for all the threads and the booklet couldn't believe how big this was you could have knocked me over with a feather and you know I'm so used to looking at things you know when it says it's centimeters I don't even think about it being in inches, you know. So that just blew me away when I read that this morning. I was like, really? But the price was really good, and the canvas seems nice. And it seems like, you know, you can uh, see really well. And like I said before, it is all... I'm going to turn this page, and let's see if I call myself a liar, but... Yeah, it's only um, straight cross stitch. There's no back stitching. But if you wanted to back stitch parts of the houses or some around certain things, go for it. It's yours. So I have to see, especially down here in this uh, cobblestone, I don't know how uh, detailed it's going to be. And maybe some, uh, what do you call it, back stitching under um like the edges of the bridge or parts of the house but other than that no it's just straight cross stitch so you could just plain cross stitch it it'd take you a hot moment because look at that that confetti is just insane just insane i was trying to figure out what colors to start with so that's why i noticed it but there are some lines, you know, and big spaces. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just a little bit at a time. But yeah, I was really happy to get this. 
thank you for whoever turned me on to this, um, this, uh, cross stitch. It is gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to leave it flat so y'all can see what I'm stitching. But I would like to have some flowers done somewhere between all three of them. And there's a dot. Do you see that dot? There's dots here and then there's dots mixed in with these lines. They're a little hard to see but we're, that's why I got it leaned against the light. And if I'm stitching it with the light straight down on me, it's so much easier. But for right now, we're good. But I swear there's about 12 color changes right there in that one little corner. So I'll just do one at a time. Whoops, I forgot to go back. But the thread is really nice. It's not cheap. It's not fuzzy. I've had some bad thread <coughs> over the, the time that I've gotten different cross stitch kits. But this one's a good one. So far, I seem to have worse trouble with the, the light colors than I do ever do the dark. I'm trying to get out of this little corner. Whoops. Gotta go back. I went up the wrong edge. So you get two stitch alongs today. How about that? But you know, I was just dying to see what this was like. And it didn't come with any special tools or or anything. May Deer and uh, Joy Sunday usually don't. I usually get the little tool bags. Uh, I don't know if I got one right here. Do I? Crap. Um. Not seeing it right off bat. I got so much stuff. Oh, here we go. Where it came, now this also came with a seam ripper, one of them did, and a threader, and three needles, yeah, three needles, a so-called thimble, and a little poof ball. I'm assuming that's to step your needle in. I'm not sure. Never really figured that out, but I've used the um, seam ripper for other things. I try not to use a seam ripper on my counted because I just know... I'm going to get that thing in the wrong place and just shred that puppy. And that ain't happening. So I'm collecting them. Yeah. Kind of like the diamond paintings, you know, you get in, or diamond pins. You get in with diamond paintings. I must have 500 of those somewhere. I put them all away. And I even made some. Yeah, that was a strange moment. I bought some uh, polymer clay and tried to bake it. I had an extra, um, what do you call it, toaster oven, my little toaster oven, and cook it in there. And it just seemed like it took forever for it to, to bake. Now, I have seen, there's a lady, I know, there's lots of ladies, but there's a lady on YouTube that makes, decorates the outsides of bottles. They call it bottle art. 
and I watch her and she uses epoxy um, what do you call it epoxy clay when she's sticking things to these bottles and she doesn't bake it it just you just let it dry out but wouldn't that take forever but I don't know if I and they weren't what you call great I don't know if I've got any here or not. Oh, here's one. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't real good at it. And it's still kind of, it's sticky, but it won't, well, it won't leaves a dent. But it was more plasticky. And I didn't put any coatings or anything on it. But, yeah. Like I said, it was my first foyer into using polymer clay. So I had several colors, but yeah, and I just stuffed that down in there, and I left a hole, and uh, baked it for as long as I thought I could, and then when it came out, I used, <clears throat> sorry, I'm choking on that candy, um, used like the hot glue gun to hold it into the, um, the pin. Somebody was making them when I was back in diamond painting and they were using polymer clay, but, and I don't know how well that works for people that live in the south where it's not, oh my goodness, not very dry. I don't know. I must have done something wrong because who knows? Well, that's all we got done there. What can I say? Kind of worked my way across. I'm trying to get the threads all to go in the right direction so that when I have to turn this thing, well, right direction for me. Seems like everybody I know stitches starting their first leg going, going to the right, mine goes to the left. And that's just the way I do it, but. We thought we'd start that way. And I have a feeling I could stitch this and roll it up and keep stitching. I don't know. I don't know what happens beyond this point. It's been a while. So we haven't been doing much of anything the rest of the afternoon. I made my taco stuff at lunch, right after I got done doing the video. And had that. So I'll probably have that again for dinner. Since I had a few pieces and parts to, like the lettuce and the onion already cut. So we'll just have it twice in one day, but I'm going to wait a while. Before I eat any more of it. Then I freeze so it's left of my taco meat. And if I want to make tacos, I can just get out a little bit and go from there. But I didn't want to make this too long. But I didn't want to start it. Because waiting until tomorrow just wasn't going to be my, my thing. Maybe I can work on this some more the rest of the day.
and this one the uh what do you call it the symbols aren't the same on the canvas as it is in the booklet so you gotta kind of pay attention I just look up the page that it's on where it's at in relation to where I'm at and just match their symbols and then I found out what color I mean why do they have to make it so difficult huh doesn't make sense just doesn't make sense I will have to crunch more of this, especially if I'm going to work on it. Every once in a while I have to put it down so I can see what the color of the symbol is. I guess we're in there doing all the leaves. That's all I can think of. But I will start at the corner and start with that yellow and I'll do those three yellows and a couple yellows over here and there wherever and then I'll get the next symbol and see how far I can get it never goes very far very fast and I'm sure there's more than one color of green in there but sure would like to get those party flowers done. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. And the colors are just awesome. I think I paid $10 more for the Chinese ladies. Now, I think they're longer than this one. I mean, wider this way than uh, this one is so could be the reason why it was ten dollars more and I don't remember who I got it from I'd have to look it up but which wouldn't be a problem symbol makes it so much easier especially on a stiff canvas I try not to get a hole in my finger. Then I can't do the other kind of stitching. I was stitching a little bit on uh, Mary Jane Fry. I really like that one. Can you tell? Of course, you know, I could probably stitch on it a week and then put it down and not touch it for six, eight months. But we try not to. All right. I haven't heard from my daughter today. I don't know what she's up to. Probably no good if you haven't heard from them. Isn't that how that goes? No. I have no idea what they're doing today. They were talking about going camping, but I think they might go... During the week, my daughter's got two days, two extra days for her uh, vacation to come to her. So, we'll see. But I like that this is an 11 count. I can't imagine this thing in a 14 count. It's 
feels funny to use a thimble, but I know it'll save my finger wear and tear. It's the only thing I really have against pre-stamped. It's because it seems like it's harder to push the, the needle through and I end up with more holes in my hands. Not my hands, but my fingers. So, I have to just remember to use a thimble and then we're good. You should all come with a thimble. We're getting some of that green done. Don't know what color I'll do next. Or symbol, I should say. I got two more pieces of this green to put in. There's a few more of those symbols, like scattered about. And like I said, just start at the bottom and pick a symbol and do those few and then do the next few and the next few. And you'll have a corner done in a little bit. <coughs> I would take out half a strip of um, thread if you could. And that way you're not going so far. I don't know. Up to you. You do as you please. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. And we will see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.